All right, so today I'm going to do a really quick video addressing one of my uh, subscriber requests for a build that targets, you know, leveling some someone who just got the game leveling their first character or uh, someone who's trying to level an alternate character, especially to take advantage of the new season pass supply drops. Now, as stated by Massive, as far as I'm aware, if I'm wrong about this, please correct me in the comments, but it seems that the supply drops, the season pass holder supply drops that are dropping are per character, okay? So they're going to drop in the Persistent World you know, it's going to be really easy to get them. It's going to be basically free 268 gear, and that's per character, not per account. So that means you can level up some alternate characters. You can take advantage of this. Uh, you can get some more 268 gear for free, and there actually has never really been a better time, in, uh, you know, to have multiple characters to take advantage of this. So I'm going to address really quickly a couple of the things that you can do to get from 0 to 30 extremely quickly. I use this on launch day, these tactics, to get from 0 to 30 in about 10 hours. So... And this was before there was anyone, you know, rank 30 who could help me, who could, you know, power level me. Uh, this, these types of tactics are going to help you, you know, level extremely quickly, much faster than, you know, an average player that just buys the game and experiments for the first time. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, uh, I'm going to take a look at some of the some of the perks here. The first things that you're going to purchase are from the security wing. The, you're going to go out, you're going to farm as many security wing supplies as you can. You're going to buy this right away: security wing upgrade situation room. Once you have the situation room. You're going to get increased XP by 10% from all activities that you do. This is going to help a lot in the leveling process. If you don't have this, uh, it's going to take a little bit longer to get to max rank. Now, the second thing that you do, and probably the more important of the two, is that you're going to buy the barracks, okay? Now, this increases XP gain from accolades by 25%. This is huge. Now, some people may overlook this, but accolades are the experience that you get at the end of a fight. Now, if you headshot an enemy, if you get to low health and survive, there's a lot of different ways that you can get, you know, these, these tickers that multiply together to give you uh, a chunk of experience at the end of the fight. And that's what accolades are. So if you buy this, those accolades, and those actually oftentimes end up being much more than the fight itself if done properly. Um, this is going to increase those uh, accolade experience, you know, boosts by 25%. So that's really good. You definitely want both of these perks immediately. The next thing that you're going to do to maximize experience gain and get to 30 quickly is that you're going to find specifically a pair of pads that have this talent on them. Uh, let me find it right here. There we go. They have accomplished. Rewards from accolades are tripled. This is probably the most important talent to have in the leveling you know, process while you're leveling up to rank 30, especially for you know traditional experience from 0 to 30. Uh, this doesn't help with Dark Zone experience, but when you're just getting your, your alt up there, or you know, you're just getting your first character up there, this is going to help tremendously. You're actually going to far surpass the experience that you're getting from actually killing the NPCs in the boost that you get at the end from headshots, or from surviving, or from healing. Or There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can actually take advantage of this. Now this multiplies on top of the 25% increase from the perk, and together, they're going to net you with just a massive amount of experience. So a lot of people don't know about this, but that's the singularly most important talent to have during the leveling process is accomplished. Now outside of that, you're also going to look for something on your pads that has increased kill XP. So you can get a large chunk of increased kill XP from your gear itself. Now you're going to get much smaller chunks at lower levels, you know, when you're just getting green and blue and then purple gear. Uh, so don't actually look at these numbers and think you're going to find that right away. But you are going to be able to find chunks of experience, especially on your pads, on your chest piece, on your mask, I believe. Uh, it's very easy to get a large amount of increased kill XP, and you're going to want to stack that. So maybe your gear won't be optimized for DPS or survivability, but you just want as much possible increased kill XP as you can get, and then you're going to just drastically speed up the leveling process. Now, if you use all of these tactics correctly, uh, I again, I did this on launch day in less than 10 hours, I think it was, um, using these tactics, and I actually didn't have anyone power leveling me. Uh, there weren't as many mechanisms to, to level quickly as there are now. So I'm sure that, you know, with one level, higher level in your group, if you have a friend, or even if you just use the tactics better than I did, you can power level an alt from 0 to 30, you know, in a fraction of the time. It's really, really easy. So I hope that addressed some of the questions. You know, it helps level alternate characters quickly. It helps level your first character quickly if you're just getting into the division. I am going to try and do a more, you know, balanced mix of content because I realize that not everyone is maxed out in gear score, has, you know, all this time to farm. So I am going to try and address, you know, all the different demographics in the player base. And I really do hope to, you know, put as much helpful content out there as I can. Now, if you are new to the division, there's a link down in the description to the Facebook community. It's growing really nicely, so I encourage anyone who wants, you know, a grouping tool or something like that to check that out, to apply for the group. 
Uh, a moderator will approve you and it'll be great. Hopefully you can find a squad to roll with and you know, make the content easier and progress quicker through it. Uh, one last shout out for the t-shirts. They are coming down soon. This is going to be kind of like our OG supporter VIP type deal. We're not going to offer these ones again. We'll offer different shirts, but never these ones again. And this will be a real symbol of people that supported the channel since the very beginning. Because we did offer these at 2,000. We've since crossed 5,000. We're probably going to cross 6,000 very soon if this growth rate keeps up. You know, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more flattered. And I will try to do my best to do justice to the support and continue to produce, you know, valuable content. Uh, I'm going to be putting out a few videos today, hopefully. I'm going to be gone for the weekend. This is the first, like, real break I'm taking in over the past, you know, month or so. Um, you know, while transitioning the channel and things like that. A huge thank you to all the supporters that transitioned the channel with me. Your support really means a lot. So, again, I can't say enough. It's, it's appreciated. Um, I look forward to, you know, continuing the channel, continuing the growth. Uh, thank you again to anyone who's watching, and have a nice day.